Thanks for having us, Aurora University. And I'm Barbara Chure. I'm Lindsay Lachman. And we are collaborative photographers, and we've been working together for over four decades on various projects that critique the societal landscape. These four images. From a body of work called Processed Views, Surveying the Industrial Landscape. And they are landscapes made of processed foods that talk about the 10 major food groups of, or not major. 10 food major groups. industrial food groups. We started them in about 2012. We based the images here on Carlton Watkins landscape, a famous photographer. It went viral on the internet and it was picked up by both high-end food and wine magazines and, and many blogs and reblogged all over the world. It galvanized this idea that artwork could function in a way that was both approachable and activist at the same time. And it was, it was a really opening experience for me anyway. For well, it was, it was opening and it was also um, a startling thing that it, it was so responsive in the internet environment and it was um, passed around back and forth. The next day it was gone. And it's so like junk food that you just gobble up the bag and then it disappears. And we thought that was another metaphorical layer that was revealed to us. As we were doing the research for this project, we found out things like there are 17 different food additives that are banned in every other country but the U.S. And the fact that um, the Food and Drug Administration does not consider food additives as, par as under their umbrella, so therefore food industries are self-regulating and they do their own research on foods. You can see their bright, beautiful colors that actually come from the manufacturing process and the marketing of these things as much as from the rendering of, of certain landscapes. And they're meant to be seductive and draw you in. And it, it's similar to the way Americans are so seduced by technology, but they don't understand the consequences that might come about from, from this in, wholehearted embrace of the chemistry and the scaling the industry for large markets. It became a really um, an interestingly open-ended project because I think some people approach these images and they, they, they're drawn in by the colors and then they say like, oh, that's so cool. And then they go, ooh, what is that? And, and there's a kind of wonderful way that this, this work works. The corn, which is talking about a monoculture uh, since corn is used to make corn syrup and high fructose corn syrup and you know all and corn these flakes and um, corn chips ethanol. And, <laughs> um, and it's a it's a major part of processed foods and some of the considerations that are dominating that are have more to do with shelf life, transport transportability of these things, and so you lose these things that used to be part of a growing system, an ecosystem, really like seasonality and locality and nutri you know terroir and nutritional value you know the food companies don't start out to be these evil uh, this evil empire however their considerations have far less to do with the nutritional qualities that rather than how long it'll last on the shelf it's a cautionary tale we're not saying ban ban all uh, industrial pr food because the planet would not survive but we also want the viewer to realize that you don't have to embrace technology without thinking about the consequences of, of your next latest invention.